Hey guys, here we are again. Quick geology lesson about what geology we're on and why I'm here. Uh, first disclaimer, I'm not a geologist. Don't pretend to be, don't want to be. And I'm not interested in anyone saying, you've got this wrong, you're doing this wrong. You know, you don't know what you're saying. I don't give a shit. <laughs> my uh, advice is sound. My, my research is sound. And, um, you know, if you're a geologist and you know better, then go find gold. You don't need to watch this video. See you later. Okay. So, just a quick thing. This is my favourite ground. Full stop. People go on about all sorts of grounds, CZLs and this and that. And, uh, and uh, this ground actually happens to run into CZL. And actually pretty happy about that because we, we did pretty well on that too. But anyhow... Um, Banded iron. This is a banded iron. I'll try and keep it as quick as I can. If you see rocks, I don't know if you can see this very well. I'll, I'll put some pictures up. But if you see rocks like this, can you see that? You can see little rocks like that. They look like chocolate licorice all sorts with uh, chert and um, magnetite layers like like a zebra all laid down like this um, stop what you're doing you're on banded iron it's as simple as that that's what this this patch is even rocks like that um, but those stripy uh, lines of ironstone mate stop and, and, and have a look because yum yum lick your lips park your car and start detecting here's another piece and this one's a bit curious because it's brecciated in other words, instead of them being straight, this has been faulted. And, and by faulted, uh, it's actually smashed all the rock up and then glued it back together in sharp angular pieces. So, a lot going on around here. Now, again, I'll post some photos of that. Uh, I'm going to go on about direction of gold flow as well while I'm here. Because if you look down here, quite curious... Uh, you see bits of reef sort of laying now these ones are pointing in, in actually the wrong direction but if I walk over here a bit somewhere over here oh, lovely ground look at that oh detector hole nice one uh, somewhere over here okay no. yes right now whether this reef is associated with this gold who knows? Um, no one will probably ever know, but I personally don't think it necessarily is, but it's given me really important little clue that a lot of people just won't even freaking see. And these are the kind of tips I'm trying to give you, stuff that just other people won't tell you, uh, for various reasons. I don't care. So, we look down here, we've got banded iron um, in church which is just a fancy name of saying uh, sedimentary quartz deposits. Now, if we look here, this reef here, or this bedrock, is running in a different direction to just over there. And when you see that, you should be looking around because it means there's a lot going on. It's a bit like a car crash. And just curiously, this reef, you probably can't see it over there about a kilometre away. It points to my friggin' caravan. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Uh, over there. Right. That's where the gold is. It's laying in a band. And, and, and this things like this ground direction are things you need to pay attention to. Again, your eyes and your brain are your best prospecting tools by far. Um, banded iron. If you find it, find those rocks. I'll post the pictures of them. Uh, you'll find it on geology maps. Uh, it will be ACI. Um, it's a bit strange, but uh, a key and chert with iron. Um, we're actually on AC here, but uh, a key and chert reef, but it runs straight into an ACI, which is that's all we need. Um, now, up there, this is another little thing. Prospect is fucking dream. Right, shallow as shit ground up there with gold running 
through it. Smaller nuggets, I'm mean, when I say smaller, I mean grand pieces, half grand pieces, um, and some big ones. But walk down here, down this slope, these are things you need to be aware of, right? Down this slope, and look at what do we hit? Spongy, fucking cow creek -y, uh, you know, oh, detect hole, that was, that was three grams right near the surface. Um, and we get down here, and then we get to the creeks. Big major creeks. Um, if you can chase gold down to these creeks, mate, you're set. And I know people that would lick their fucking lips and piss their pants with machinery to get on this spot. All right, because look what it runs into. I don't know if you can see that very well, but uh, soft, deep animal holes digging everywhere. Uh, five and ten gram nuggets. All my holes are filled. Oh no, I haven't quite filled them all in yet. Um, you know, there, there were some 400 mil deep holes here, and when you're getting uh, five and ten gram nuggets, at, you know, 400 mil. <laughs> Happy days. And that's the ground you want to be looking for. Like honestly, all of this run amounted to, you know, picking up a, a gram or two a day, a couple of grams a day, three grams a day. Uh, but all that hard work chased in this line to this spot. Um, then it was my worst day was five grams. <laughs> and many of those days were through pissing down rain. So I, I only had three or four hours of detecting. So. Five grams every three hours, mate. That's what you want. Anyhow, uh, I'll be back soon with some more information. Banded iron, ACI. I'll post some pictures. Hunt it down. Camp on it.